Hey, this is Pastor Bungie Garrett, and I want to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement. Well, here we go again. Joe Biden's VPOC, Kamala Harris, she's unsurprisingly capitalized on the tragic floods that just took place. And she did this by once again assuring us that climate change is to blame. Now, in case you didn't know, it was just last week when deadly storms swept across Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Virginia. And the flash floods, they not only caused massive property damage as it washed away entire neighborhoods, but, you know, the floodwaters also claimed the lives of nearly 40 people. And so it's just a tragic event. And knowing how difficult it is for families to recover and rebuild after these natural disasters, we ought to be praying. Let's continue to pray for the people who have been affected by this flood. At the same time, we should also spend some time considering the claim of Kamala Harris. You know, it was just yesterday when Harris assured every American that the recent floods that just took place there in Missouri and Kentucky, that they're further evidence that the climate change debate has been settled and once and for all. And, and here's how she put it, and I quote her, For years we have debated the impacts of climate change on our country and our world, and today we know. Just watch the evening news and see that the time for debate has long passed. That's right. According to Harris, the science is now settled. There's no reason for more debate. And listen, the proof that the science is now settled, well, it can be seen on the nightly news. And this is what she said. Again, I quote Kamala Harris here. She declared, just watch the evening news and see that the time for debate has long passed. Listen, if you're still wondering if humans have been causing cli this climate crisis, we'll ignore the climate scientists who still want to debate the, the details of this and instead just accept what they tell us on the nightly news because the mainstream media would never spin a story according to, you know, government propaganda. Harris went on to insist, and I quote, climate change has become a climate crisis and a threat has now become a reality. In recent days, deadly floods have swept through Missouri and Kentucky, washing away entire neighborhoods, leaving babies and children, and it's been reported for children from one family. So the devastation is real, the harm is real, the impact is real, and we are witnessing it in real time. Okay, so according to Harris here, the, the recent floods there in uh, Missouri and Kentucky, these floods provide us with proof that climate change has become a, a, a climate crisis. And just to be clear, Harris would have us to believe that human invention and industry is actually causing climate crisis as our carbon emissions are allegedly creating the conditions for all of these record-breaking storms. Now, before we consider the problems with the science that she's actually relying on here, I should first point out that this is, this is not the first time that Harris has blamed climate change for the bad things that happen in this world. For example, it was back in September of 2020 when Harris blamed climate change for the California wildfires. Here's how she put it, and I quote, It is not a coincidence that five of the six largest wildfires in California history happened within the last two months. This is climate change. That's what she said. This is climate change. Uh, what, what about the research that shows how, you know, prior to the arrival of European settlers, the redwood forest typically caught fire every 6 to 25 years? The evidence of this comes from the fire scars on barks and on the bases of massive ancient trees, uh, which have been hollowed out by fire. And never mind all of that. Harris has an agenda to push. And so the California wildfires, well, that's just evidence of man-made climate change. And listen, she not only blamed a man-made climate change for the forest fires there in California, but it was also back uh, in 2021 when she blamed climate change for the border crisis that she has yet to solve. Uh, yes, yeah, right. According to Harris, the root causes of the border crisis include the lack of climate adaptation and climate resilience in the areas where these people are coming from. And, and, and according to Harris, uh, all of this is caused by a lack of good governance. In other words, you know, the surge of illegal immigrants that we've watched streaming across the southern border, they're coming to America in order to escape the climate change conditions happening in their country. And so they're willing to risk life and limb in order to come to the U.S. because, you know, the climate change in our country is less climate changey. Man, climate change science is hard. Harris is now assuring us that we can tackle the climate change issue here in America for the low, low cost of one billion dollars. <laughs> Here's how Harris put it just yesterday, you know, from, and she was speaking from the flood site there in Kentucky. Oh, oh no, wait, sorry. 
she went to Miami. <laughs> Harris went to Miami, and, and she did at least tour the National Hurricane Center before then announcing the plan to create a billion-dollar grant program which will defend our country ex against extreme weather events. And listen, this billion-dollar program is above and beyond the $2.3 billion that Biden just promised to spend in, you know, in order to help communities cope with soaring temperatures through programs administered by FEMA, the Department of Health and Human Services, and other agencies. That's right. The Biden administration has no problem spending our tax dollars, you know, to stop the climate from changing, you know, because science. Harris actually uh, spent a, a second justifying her billion-dollar program by appealing to the increasing amount of natural disasters. And here's how she put it, and I quote her, The frequency has accelerated in a relatively short period of time. The science is clear. Extreme weather will only get worse, and the climate crisis will only accelerate. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, the climate's changing. Nobody's denying this. What we want to know is how this billion-dollar program is going to solve the problem. Well, thankfully for us, Harris assured us that the government has the ability to do something, you know, before disaster strikes again. Here's how she put it, as she assures us that, that, that the White House recognizes the urgency of this moment and our ability to do something about it. Then she added that they have a duty to act, not only after disaster strikes, but before disaster strikes. Okay, so according to Kamala Harris, the White House has the ability to act before the next disaster strikes. Okay, what's the plan? How are you going to spend a billion dollars to stop the next natural disaster so that we can all get back to, you know, living in fear of COVID? The fact is that the only plan they have is based on a, a, a version of science that isn't yet settled as Harris would have us to believe. For example, you know when John Kerry assured us that 97% of climate scientists have already confirmed that climate is changing and, it, and it's because of you know, human activity and greenhouse gases. And this was all based on the belief that comes from a paper written by John Cook. And, and Cook claimed that over 97% of the papers that he surveyed regarding this topic all of the scientists endorse the view, or 97% of those scientists endorse the view that the Earth is warming up and human emissions of greenhouse gases are the main cause. Now, you should know that Cook's paper was not only publicly challenged, but it was also debunked by one researcher who actually calculated that only 1.6% of the scientists in question explicitly stated that man-made greenhouse gases caused at least... 50% of global warming. That's right. Only 1.6% of the scientists in question explicitly stated that man-made greenhouse gases are the cause for at least 50% of global warming. Clearly, the science is not as settled as they would have us to believe. So when the climate change alarmists tell you that, you know, the science is settled, 97% climate chi uh, change scientists agree that uh, you might direct their attention to the 31,000 scientists who have signed a global warming petition, which states this, and I quote, There is no convincing scientific evidence that human release of carbon dioxide, methane, or other greenhouse gases is causing or will, in the foreseeable future, cause catastrophic heating of the Earth's atmosphere and disruption of the Earth's climate. Moreover, there is substantial scientific evidence that increases in atmospheric carbon dioxide produce many beneficial effects upon the natural plant and animal environments of the earth. Now listen, as we consider this statement, if the science were really settled and man-made climate change is a reality, as Harris has stated, well, then why did these 31,000 plus scientists assure us in signing this petition that there is no real science that would lead us to believe that, you know, greenhouse gases created by humans are causing the severe storms that we're seeing? Clearly, the science isn't settled. But you know what is settled? God's plan is settled. God's, uh, God's plan is settled. It's been settled since eternity past. And, and this plan includes casting every unrepentant unbeliever into the fires of hell. Let's consider how John, uh, the Apostle John put it in Revelation chapter 20. It's there where he declares, I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. 
The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them, and they were judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now listen, if you think summer 2022 is hot, trust me when I, when I tell you that it's nothing compared to how hot it will be in the lake of fire. And knowing that this is the Lord's plan to eventually cast every unrepentant unbeliever into the lake of fire, and knowing that this is the way that he plans to solve the problem of evil, well, we can rejoice in knowing that he's also ready to save every sinner from this fiery furnace. With this as his goal, he, you know, God the Father sent Jesus to die for our sins so that those who trust in the Lord Jesus Christ can be saved from the lake of fire. And it's for this reason that I encourage every person, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can escape the punishment that we all deserve for the sins that we've committed. And if you've already received the grace of God by faith in Jesus Christ, well, I encourage you to share this good news with others so that we can continue to fight the good fight of faith and all for the glory of God.